whatever possessed you to give Phyllis this crab? Well, <laughs> uh, it was kind of like a bet. Uh, I told her one day, since our zodiac signs are both cancer, so I told Phyllis one day that I was going to give her a live crab for her birthday, and she didn't believe me. And when I left school last fall, uh, last spring, she said that um, I wouldn't do it. So on her birthday, I went over to see her with a live crab. Linda went with me. What happened? Well, we came to the door, and Phyllis just went, oh, no, boo, you didn't really. <laughs> but boo really did. And uh, so we put it in her room, and it got out of the box, and Phyllis really didn't like to touch it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. at all and so we went out and visited some friends and came back and it crawled out of a ice chest and was on top of her father's golf cart and nobody wanted to get it off there <laughs> we just thought we might leave it there you know that's a very interesting thing apparently this crab has brought phyllis a lot of real good luck what went on last night in the sorority house oh well i know it it's just scary it wasn't even funny <laughs> I mean, it's not like just being excited. It was like really being scared, you know. See, we wanted to go up there real bad. And we called her uh, when she had an hour to get ready last night. And we called her, what, about three? Mm -hmm. And she had like an hour to get ready. And she talked to us. And we each had a minute to talk. Because <laughs> we had to say for a minute. What, what, what were some of the things that were said? Well, she said she was really getting scared. But she said she'd, she'd do her best, you know, to please us. to a school that he considers to be superior to the one he's now attending. It seemed as though nobody cared about it. Just let it go. And so we said, can we make some kind of settlement on our rent because we don't feel we should be paying all of it and not have an air-conditioned apartment. The basic problem is the, co the corporation will not pay the $3,500 necessary to repair it. Do you just not want to pay your rent? Oh, no, I pay all my bills. That's one thing. I don't like anything delinquent, but I feel like when there are roaches that I know carry diseases and uh, when the swimming pool is closed by the health department, I feel like I'm living in a terribly unsanitary place. And if they can't do something to improve that, I don't feel like I, I owe them anything, and I told them that. So what did they say? They asked me why I hadn't moved sooner, and like we talked about before, I didn't have um, the money for a new deposit or anything. I said, I am moving on the 15th. Half hour later, my TV is gone. On Friday morning, I called DNC Properties and I said to them, can, Is there any way we can make a settlement on this? And uh, I had called my lawyer previously and he told me not to do this, but I thought it would be the nice thing to do. <laughs> and it evidently wasn't because she told me to get out. And then I t started packing and then I was stopped by a Mr. this Mr. Collier from the management. He said that he would take my personal belongings to keep me from moving.
If you own a new automobile like this one in the background, chances are you feel it does not need an anti-pollution device. Well, Gene Irvin, president of REI Industries of Dallas, says it does, and we're going to find out why. First of all, the answer is uh, under the hood. Mr. Irvin, why is this new car different? Ice here, but what we do technically is go in series with the secondary circuit of the ignition system between the distributor cap and the spark plug wire. We have laboratory tests, gas chromatograph tests, that indicate on the cars tested that we knock out up to 100% of the hydrocarbon. Is this just another distributor or coil gimmick? Well, one of the problems we have is just that kind of a question, Jim. We operate in the same area where an awful lot of gimmicks have operated. And I grew up in the car business, and I'm familiar with that problem. Uh, no, it's not. Our device is guaranteed to do all the things we say that it will do, or we'll buy it back at the retail price. Isn't it primarily uh, for older cars, actually? It's for all cars. Any car uh, can benefit from the installation of this device. He's ready to go. At this particular time in our automotive history, there are a lot of people seeking a lot of answers to the air pollution problem. This just might very well be the answer from REI Industries. This is Jim Mitchell, Channel 8 News, on the move. future plans are to deploy a wing of F-111s of 72 aircraft. That will be sometime within the next few months. Colonel, does the Middle East situation have anything to do with the deployment of the 111 at this time? It does not. What type of troops are being sent? Are they troops who normally have been flying some other aircraft? Yes, sir. The troops that are presently there have been flying f 100 Captain, I understand you've just been assigned to F-111 duty in England. What's your reaction to this? Uh, I guess you can tell I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, anytime you get a chance to go to England, uh, you'd be a fool to turn it down. And this is what I asked for also. I asked for F-111s and I asked for England. Why did you ask for F-111? I think the airplane probably has more potential than anything else that I would be assigned to fly at this time. And Do you have any idea of what sort of duty you'll have over there? Well, right now, uh, I haven't gone to the school for 111, so I'll be going there next month at Las Vegas at Nellis Air Force Base. And uh, so I'm not too familiar with the mission, but uh, everything I've read about the 111 I like, and uh, I think the airplane is going to turn out to be one of our best, if not our best. 